What's up guys? So, let's talk about the most recent Diablo hotfix as well as talk about some other Diablo news. So, starting right off, the most important thing is is that uh, the other day we got a brand new hotfix which means you don't have to download it. It's a server side thing. So, with this new update, it makes it so Living Steel can actually appear in the regular chests as well as just giving us more drops. So, in World Tier 3, it's going to be increased from 1 to 2 and then there is additional chance for 1 to 2 extra Living Steels to also drop. But the most important thing is really Really in the world tier 4 it's going to be increasing from 3 to 5 so basically before you would have uh, pretty much like one run and then you would be stuck if you had six you'd have this random extra one which would require you to message other people to try to get this uh, next tutorial run going and then on top of that the thing that actually makes this the best here all other health hide chests will additionally grant one living steel in world tier four so what this means is you can actually open up some of the other chests now and it's really not that bad if you happen to have some extra cinders and you've already opened up the other chest this could be a great method to still get additional uh, living steel because basically you'd almost get the same amount and you might be able to try to upgrade one of your pieces of gear so overall this is pretty nice there's also a bug issue that did get fixed which is quite nice there used to be this little guardian from the steel chest and you no longer have to fight him because well that i guess was causing a bug to make it so the chests were not appearing so if you guys haven't uh visited the website it's called hell tides but you want to go towards the purple chest the purple chests are the ones that are going to be having the living steel previously if you did have the issue you'd have to log out and log back in or maybe swap characters but now you can just open up any of the chests and you will always get that living steel so my suggestion for additional living steel would be open up the 75 chests don't go for the more expensive ones that would be let's say the amulets because well you're still only getting one uh there could be again a drop and some of you guys might be thinking well i'm getting way more uh well it might just be because if there's the extra chance i'm not sure if this applies to all um or if it's just those specific ones i haven't seen it but uh, to go over gameplay you can see i opened up a ring one because i was looking for a specific thing on a ring and i was still able to get living steel so in terms of my results i don't know what the official drop chance is for the additional steel it may be like 10 percent or something like that it's definitely not like a 50 percent chance but there have been people that are reporting yes you can get 10 over here you can see this picture over on reddit i don't think he would fake it and start dropping it but nonetheless yeah some people are getting 10 steel which is basically uh yeah that's a durial run right there with just those living steel Steals. Obviously, you still have to get the Varshan mats, but that's still pretty good. Another quick thing that I want to go ahead and go over uh, is some other Diablo news. Diablo is actually 40% off right now if you guys maybe wanted to get an alt account or maybe get it for someone else. That's awesome. I haven't seen it this cheap. I think this is the cheapest we've seen Diablo 4 in a really long time. But keep in mind, if you do want to get it on, let's say, Xbox or Steam, you have to buy a separate copy of the game. If you want to uh, even merge your accounts, you still have to buy another copy of the game. Another thing I want to mention is there are free cosmetics pretty soon the blood harvest is complete basically there was a uh, blood drive and if you donated blood and i don't believe everyone has to donate the blood i think this is just like a, an event that they also applied but you could like show your receipt and basically you would have a bunch of these skins so check your inventory within the next couple days you may actually get some bonuses over here so uh yeah basically uh this is from a event uh, which is awesome. So some people were saying they're getting unexpected cosmetics. There's actually another free cosmetics uh, that you can get. And I got this last night. I'm not sure what actually applied this, but um, a lot of people are saying, did you get this? So I think this was a uh, Twitch drop, but uh, nonetheless, uh, if you check your inventory, because this drop just ended um, and I don't even believe I've got the correct hour. So you may just get this cosmetic for free. So check in your wardrobe. You may have some free cosmetics. Again, if you don't have them now, maybe in a couple days, you'll get them. I'm not sure if console uh, has to roll till Tuesday because that's generally when console gets the update. So keep in mind that will be something to consider. Since they are taking our feedback because we were talking about the living steel in terms of like the ratios that it was dropping, a lot of people want to have the summons of the Ubers again. If any of you guys have done some of the, the Duriel groups where like you're doing like five runs a piece when you're doing multiple, multiple runs, sometimes it can actually take quite a bit of time. So I think this would be a great suggestion now that they're watching, I, I would say either different comments i mean me as a diablo partner they do watch our videos so blizzard yo please if we can uh make it so we have an option to perhaps resummon the uber so we don't have to everyone leave the dungeon all right we're gonna reset oh this guy's still doing something okay he has to exit the thing it just would be nice to be able to put in all of our materials and just resummon the boss again and again versus having to leave reset the dungeon i think that would be a nice quality of life option uh to be able to do that. Uh, another thing that I want to give as a suggestion is even though we have the ability to 
form health hide a little bit more effectively now i'm still running into the issue where i don't have enough forgotten souls especially if i'm trying to make lots of different builds i feel like i'm running out of forgotten souls a little bit too often um, one tip that i also want to give you guys if you guys are re-rolling a piece of gear keep it rare don't uh, extract the uh, aspect and put it on uh, because if you re-roll while it is a rare item you will save on the fiend roses so i haven't had issues with fiend roses because i know of that method but the forgotten souls in general just feel like there's not enough in the game so if we could please just maybe buff this up a little bit um because there's certain times where i'm in the health hunt and i just don't see those veins to go ahead and get it would be nice maybe if helltides.com had that exact location or just be a little bit more generous while we're savaging because towards the end of the game i'm literally not even picking up stuff even a salvage because the ratio is so low to get forgotten souls so i think this would be a nice little suggestion i'm curious to know how are you guys doing on forgotten souls as well do you guys feel like it's not enough i feel like it's not enough as well as the glyph leveling we are getting an update very soon guys uh this is something i've seen time and time again a lot of people complain about the glyph leveling i've complained about it too uh and i've made this suggestion as a diablo partner that we need to be able to level up glyphs outside of doing nightmare dungeons now they are giving us an update in december and that update will be able to power level our glyphs extraordinarily high so this is going to be something where i want to say let's at least wait for that before just getting more xp on the glyphs i think that in world tier 3 leveling up glyphs feels terrible you just don't get enough xp on the glyphs to really make an impact but at least that's my thoughts on the uh, newer changes and there's all the diablo news that i wanted to go over but what do you guys feel about the new helltide update as well as any of the things that i mentioned let me know down below but thanks for tuning in that's gonna wrap up the vid if you're new here hit subscribe turn the bell so you don't miss out on more diablo stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out